Okay, so what we've got, we've got a Volkswagen T6 Transporter. Now this one's the long wheel base. What do you think? Or would you like the Volkswagen T6 short wheel base? What do you think? So what we're going to do in this video is have a look at the two, short wheel, long wheel base, and have a decision which one you prefer. Okay, we have two Volkswagens, a 2019 long wheel base, and we have a 2020 short wheel base. Both have done, I think this one's done 3,000, this one's done about 15,000, so really they've done nothing. Um, let's have a look at the difference between the two vans, and let's go and see which you prefer. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to us, and more importantly, like the video. Let's have a look at these two VWs. Okay, first of all, we'll go for colour. I love the deep red, it's like a cherry red. And also, I love the colour on the transporter. So these two really cool colours. So, I don't think I can split the two because I do like both colours. If I had to have a decision, I'm gonna go black. And now, cabs, not cabs, front ends. These two really nice front ends here. Which one do you prefer, 2019 or the 2020? I got 2019. So you're going to 2019, Kev? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's just have a look at both of them. Now you know what gets me every time. I do like the grill at the bottom of that I one. Know, it looks more beastie. But I do like that one as well. You are going for the 2019. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I can't split the two, to be honest. Well, no, can't split the two. People will have to give us their uh, opinion. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's move on to cabs. Let's have a look at the 2019 cab. Go this side, Kev. So, 2019 cab, let's have a look at what we've got. Have a look in there. Again, standard, it's a manual um, with a media park air conditioning and everything. So, nice looking cab, nice looking cab. Yeah. And let's go round now and have a look at the 2021. And I know which one's going to win this one. <laughs> this does have the new cab in. Let's have a look inside of that. So, the difference there, uh, you're getting all the controls on the steering wheel, um, six speed, and then look at that. That media pack's really, really nice. The only one's only five-speed, isn't it? Yes, the only other one, like Kevin said, is only a five-speed. This one's six-speed. Again, air conditioning and everything. But that's a nice-looking cab. So I'm going to have to say the 2020 on the cab-wise is going to be beating that. So pop-tops, pretty much a muchness of the pop-tops. Yeah. Um, they both have the windows in going around, if you can see both of the two. And then this one does have an advantage. I think this one's got a solar on the back, a flexible solar. So yeah, you see the flexible solar. And then, but if you do look at the two, they are pretty much, much the same. Um, so yeah, we can't really do an awful lot of that. So shall we go now, Kev? First impressions, what do we think of the inside, just looks wise? So 2020 first, just first impressions. Modern and white. I'm getting the modern feel. I'm we're getting the, the, the thing is with these Volkswagens is the layout's always going to be the same. You're always going to get your rock and roll bed, you're always going to get your prep area, and then you're always going to get um hob, and then you probably might get a grill and a compressor fr fridge. So, first impressions I'm getting there is I'm loving the worktops and I do do like um the hatches because that's the modern feel I, I like the old with the modern feel I um, do like the stitching in the in the upholstery so yeah okay let's let's go and have a look now let's go and have a look at the Volkswagen the 19 plate on the long wheelbase oh Kev I don't know first impressions yeah, nice. We're getting pretty much the same. You've got the white background, so you've still got the white. We are getting the white background, which is going to like. I do like. 
I do like the worktops, they nice. Um, I'm getting a feeling of space in this van. Loads of space. I'm getting the feeling of space, a lot of space in this van. But I'm, I must admit, I am going to go just for quick looks on interior wise 2020. Just, yeah, just yeah. for a look, just yeah. for a look. For a standout look, yeah. Yeah. So, what else do we need to check out? Overbed. So, while we're here at the 19 plate, let's have a look. So, what we have, drop this down, and that's a cracking size bed above. It feels strong, it feels one, sturdy. One. Yeah. And we're going for that one there. And then let's go and have a look at the 2020 plate. And just have a quick check. One thing we didn't tell talk about is flooring. Oh yeah. Do yeah. like the flooring. So let's yeah. let's remember to have a look at the flooring when we get back on the 19 plate. And then above here that again. Hinges, that over once you're up there. And that comes over as you can see to make up a good sized bed. Um I don't think you can split them on the beds, Kev. No. Nope. Right. Now we do have a swivel seat that swivels around. We've already turned it round. This one's really good. It comes right the way forward and then goes right the way back, as you can see. So it makes it nice and easy. Look at that. You can swivel around. So let's go check out. Oh, I keep bumping it. Let's go check out the 2019 and see how easy that is to turn around as well as the floor. Let's go in. I tell you what, these bands, they don't half look good next to one another, do they? They look stunning. Oh, yeah. So, floor, pretty standard floor. It looks an hard wearing floor, though, as well, yeah. in fairness. So, I'm going to go for the floor in the 2020. Now, we turn that around. That gets turned around. It goes around again. Now that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad to get around. Not the first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> but the easy use on the other one, you can bring it all the way, all the way down. So you've got a lot more flexibility. Uh, flexibility. So that 20, uh, the 2021, the bed's better. So let's have a look at internal. So why don't we do? Because everyone's going to ask about that. Why don't we just do beds first? And see how easy it is to make up the bed. So I'm guessing, yeah, we undo that. That pulls down. There we go. There's your bed. And let's whip around to the other van. Stick a shortcut, Kev, this way. And let's have a look of easy use. Take that one off there. Um, so I'm guessing oh, that pulls that down. Both easy. easy bed up. Both easy. Both easy. So we've got the bed down. Why wouldn't we do that there? Um, yeah, we can get at the um, appliances, yeah, get at everything. It encroaches more on the living area, doesn't it? Yeah, it way. does. It does encroach. But if you want to make an even bigger bed up, you can make an even bigger bed up. If it ain't foot <laughs> Well, it's there though, Kevin, isn't yeah. it? You have got the option there. It doesn't leave you much room. We can't put the table in there. Um, so let's see how easy this bed is to get back up. And I'm guessing that, that that's it. There we go. And we slide. Let's put this in here. There we go. So, yeah, we've got a bit of storage. Got the lights, down lights. That's nice. That's nice. That's really, really nice. That's really nice. All integrated with the two burners and also the sink. And then we do have the Aberspatch. We have the water pump, so it has got a fresh water tank. Um, USBs, plugs. That's pretty much giving us everything we need. I've noticed we've got the speakers in the back, so 
Let's go and have so a look. The difference with the short wheelbase, how close we are sat together now. Yeah, well, we haven't known because we've looked at the other one yet, so we yeah. don't know, do we? Yeah. So let's go and have a look at the other one. Let's go because we had put the bed down, didn't we? We did. Right, so we have got the bed down. So the difference here would have been a longer wheelbase. Well, with, there is nowhere to. Th that's a shame, really. You thought they'd have put a rail on there so you could put the table in. So you could to use the table and then obviously turn that around and then you could use that as a dining area. Um, but yeah, so well, loads of room when the bed's down. So the big difference there with the long wheelbase. Let's get this bed back up. Good size. Um, there we go. Oh, that's easy. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then screw. put my little locking screw in there. If he oh, wants to go. Yeah, and yeah, bed, beds on both of them. Nice and easy to make up. Um, so let's have a look. God, this fan's massive. It's got that tardis appeal. Outside it doesn't look so big, no, but, I mean, but that bed is huge. Not the bed, the area, sorry, is huge. You've got all this prep area here. Then we've got the grill underneath. We'll get our table back in. Just a shame the ones on the table rail over there. But look, we've got cupboards going all the way along as well. So that is huge, really. And you then... You could fit a rail there because... It's you it's could do, yeah, but why should we? It should have been done, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. We do have lights underneath there as well. Um, and then we've got the compressor fridge as well so what do we think let me know in the comments below do you prefer the short wheelbase or the long wheelbase um loving the cab on the the newer van um what gets it for me on the long wheelbase is how much room you've actually got in this van it, 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 it's huge and it doesn't look like that from the outside on the short wheelbase loved how the bed how the seating turned around you can move them forward and back and he also had the option of making the bed actually bigger but what i must say is um this is brilliant for space but i do like the other one because i do like the interior on the other one so what do you think what more can you say to sexy sexy vans i do think the long wheelbase, the 19 plates, would be more suited with kids and when there's three or four of you, um, because you have got the extra space. I do think this one would be suited for, for the two of you or just one. But these two really nice vans, nice wheels. We probably even haven't shown you the half of them, but I hope we give you an idea of what Volks, what how nice these vans are and i'd be quite happy to pull up or rock up on a campsite or anywhere in any of these two but let me know in the comments below which you think is the best one what sort of price are we looking at for these? price wise basically you're, you're talking i'd say between 50s and 55s and um, they're just two really nice vans miles is low i think this is done about 13 or 15 thousand this is done about 3,000 miles you've got the new cab in this one you've got the long wheelbase in this one but two nice nice vans so if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like more importantly to subscribe and there's people coming onto the campsite so let's get the vans and let's go